Here I have a nice looking page layout loaded. It is a home page layout from the Ragnar collection. If you need help loading layouts, check the finding and loading layouts video that is also on our YouTube channel. If you already have some content loaded on a page, let me show you how you can customize the styles of the page and of course change the content. First, you want to enable the visual builder by clicking this button here. Allow it a few moments to load and there we go. The first thing worth mentioning is how pages in Divi are structured. They have sections, that's this blue area, then rows and each row has modules. If you need a better overview of the page you can go to settings and switch to wireframe view. This way you can easily navigate to any section on the page although you lose the ability to edit visually. So you can switch back to the desktop view so you can enjoy all the beauty of the visual builder. However, you can also enable layers, that's this icon here and similarly it gives you an overview of all the sections on the page. You can see all the sections here and if you toggle you can see the rows inside the sections and by toggling further you can see the columns and modules. Now let me show you how you can change the content, for example, of this text here. Uh, the easiest way to change the text is simply to click somewhere inside the text area and start typing. Other way to do it is to go to module settings and you have the same uh, text here under the title so you can change this to say for example my new title there you go and to change this text under the title uh, scroll to the body text here and change this and what about the image in the background this is the background of the entire section so you want to go to section settings and under the content tab toggle background here you have a color gradient image and video this is obviously an image so that's what you want selected and you want to change the image simply click on it choose a different image from the library and click the upload button let me choose something else for example this one and there we go what about if you would like to change the color of the text once again you want to go to module settings this time select the design tab and here you have title text and body text title text gives you all the options that relates to the title obviously so you can change font family you can change a font weight it is currently set to italics, I can switch this off or on. You can also change the alignment of the text, of course the color and the font size. A cool thing in Divi is this thing here. This small mobile icon allows you to have different options based on the screen size. So for example, I can set a different text size for the desktop, tablet and mobile phone that allows you to easily take care of the responsive style of the page. Sometimes we also have some custom CSS under the advanced tab. Make sure to check this as well if you need to change something, but most of the times you would just use the design tab. Another great thing in Divi is that you can easily duplicate not only the module, but the style as well. Let's for example duplicate this module here and let's say we change the color of the first one. Let's put it to white back again and now I can just right click on this and copy module styles. And then I can just right click on this one and paste module styles and it automatically applies the styles of the top module to it. That's it for this video, thanks for watching.